Each life is made up of mistakes and learnings, waiting and growing. Practicing patience and being persistent is the key of life, friends. So never give up on your dreams and be in the mainstream and fight for your dreams and everything will fall into its place automatically. Now with this motivation, let's begin our morning tales for July 4, 2019 with this first news. So recently, India has ratified the multilateral convention to implement tax treaty related to measures to prevent base erosion and profit shifting from October 2019. Quite heavy, right? So let's bifurcate this sentence into three parts in order to make it easier. So these are the three parts in which I have divided this sentence. So the first part means that India has recently implemented a multilateral convention which is a tax treaty. And the second part is the tax treaty is related to the measures to prevent base erosion and profit shifting. And third part of this sentence is that that this treaty will be implemented from October 2019. So these are the three parts. Now the most important part that is measures to prevent base erosion and profit shifting treaty. What does that mean? So this treaty basically means or basically aims to prevent the companies from shifting their profits to other countries. Now why do the companies shift their profits to other countries? Because the companies want to increase their profit margins by paying less and less taxes. So the countries which offer the companies less taxes, the companies shift their base to those countries so that they can evade the tax burden in their existing countries. So recently India has signed this treaty in order to curb its losses, in order to reduce its revenue losses. So not a very difficult treaty it is because it is very evident from its name itself that measures to prevent base erosion. Base here refers to the company's base or basically the core from where the company operates its major operations. So that is the base. Base erosion means the company shifts from one country to other country. So the previous country is at the loss. And the third important part about this treaty is that this treaty was signed by India in Paris in the year 2017. So do remember about this treaty that recently India has implemented this treaty and the treaty was signed in 2017 in Paris. So now let's begin our morning tales with the first question of today that is who will head the high powered committee formed by PM Modi to transform agriculture? It is a very important committee. Why? As the agenda itself is suggesting that this committee has been formed to transform the existing scenario of agriculture. The purpose itself makes this committee very important. Now other important fact about this committee is that that this committee aims to raise the farmers income. So remember that we have already discussed this target of Indian government to increase farmers income by 2022. So that is the target year by which the Narendra Modi government is planning to double the income of farmers. So the major purpose of this committee is to transform agriculture for betterment and to increase the farmers income. So now if we talk about the answer to this question that who will head this committee. So the answer to this question is option D that is Devendra Fadnavis who is also the present chief minister of Maharashtra and he is going to head this committee or basically he will be the convener of this committee. Now what will be the function of this committee? So this committee will suggest measures to raise growth in food processing sector and also it will suggest measures to increase agricultural exports and investment in the modern market. So these are the basic functions which have been outlined right now along with these two major agendas. So now let's move on to the next question of today but do remember this committee because this is very important from exam point of view. Now let's move on to the next question. Again, quite important. University Grants Commission has launched a new scheme, Stride, to boost research culture in India. What does E stand for? So recently a new scheme called Stride has been launched by UGC in order to boost the research culture in India or basically in order to promote research and innovation in various colleges and universities of India. So now what is the full form of STRIDE? The full form of STRIDE is Scheme for Transdisciplinary Research for India's Developing Economy. 
so from this full form itself the answer is clear that the e stands for economy so you must be thinking that it is such a big name but if you remember the purpose behind stride so you will be able to learn the name it easily so what is the purpose behind stride stride is a scheme for transdisciplinary basically for all the disciplines research for india's developing economy so basically this is a scheme which has been launched across the dis- disciplines to promote research for india India's developing economy. I hope that uh, by learning the motive behind lo- launching this scheme will help you to remember the full form of this scheme. That the scheme has been launched for transdisciplinary research for India's developing economy. Now the other important part of this uh, question is that that in order to oversee the implementation of this scheme, a new committee has been set up, which will be headed by Bhushan. patwardhan so this new committee is also known as bhushan patwardhan committee which has been set up by ugc to examine the entire scheme so this is also a part of this news or of this stride scheme so do remember this bhushan patwardhan committee which has been set up by ugc to oversee the stride implementation now this scheme stride has three components so the first component of this scheme is that the scheme will attempt to identify the talented research students across the disciplines and for this purpose a grant of rupees 1 crore has been given so what is the first component of this scheme so it is the identifying students who are talented and innovative enough to conduct good research second purpose or second component of this scheme is that it will collaborate between universities governments industries and other institutions in order to promote the research and for this component a grant of rupees 50 lakhs to 1 crore will be provided to colleges and universities in order to ramp up the affiliations to increase the research and the third component of this scheme is that the scheme aims to appreciate the high impact research projects in humanities and social sciences and for this purpose a grant of rupees 1 crore will be provided to the high educational institutes and rupees 5 crore grant will be provided to the multi institutional network so now let's move on to the third question of today that is ministry of science and technology released a draft biological data storage access and sharing policy of india which mandates researchers so as we all can see that there are five options so we will be discussing all the options one by one so let's take the first option that is to store data of their finding in national data repository basically as we all can see that there is no name given for this national data repository so it is not clear that which repository is this option talking about so this is not the feature of this draft because this option does not mention any specific national data repository or any kind of evident feature which can be linked to the biological data storage access sharing policy of india so now let's move on to the next option that is to conduct biological research under the aegis of Ma- medical council of india only this option mandates that researchers from now on will be allowed to conduct their research under the administration of medical council of india only and this is not the feature of this policy because nowhere in the policy it mentions that researchers will be working under the medical council of india only so now let's discuss the third option that is to provide only dna index reports to all public and private enterprises though it is a very confusing option because it relates very much to the policy in question but it is not the feature of this policy why because option mentions that only dna index reports are to be shared with public and private enterprises whereas this policy of india mandates the researchers to publicize their findings whatever it is within 2 years of its generation so basically recently ministry of science and technology has developed this draft policy so the researchers who use government funds for their research will have to make their research public or will have to show the findings of their research within 2 years of mm, completing the research so that is the main feature of this new biological storage access and sharing policy of india 
draft and remember this thing that this policy has not been implemented yet it is still a draft which has been proposed and now let's move on to the next question of today that is who has been appointed as the ceo of european central bank so as this picture indicates that this woman has been appointed as the ceo of ecb but why is this women so important so this woman is also the current ceo of imf that is international monetary fund so she is the current ceo of imf and recently she has been appointed as the CEO of European Central Bank and the name of this woman is Christine Lagarde. Do remember this thing that currently Christine Lagarde is the CEO of IMF and she has also been appointed as the CEO of European Central Bank. Now guys can you tell me that where is the headquarters of IMF? Do mention your answers in the comment section below that where is the headquarters of International Monetary and now let's move on to the next question of today that is in which country Major League Baseball organized the million dollar arm and MLB first pitch program to popularize baseball. First of all, this Major League Baseball is the premier organization of baseball in the world. Now, in which country has it initiated million dollar arm and MLB first program? So, the answer to that question is India. So, in order to promote the sport of baseball in a country which reverse cricket as a religion, this MLB first pitch program and million dollar arm has been launched by Major League Baseball. So do remember this thing that it is India in which these two programs are being implemented. And now it's time to move on to the last question of today that is Garud is a joint exercise of India and Dash. So a very famous and quite hackneyed exercise it is which we have talked about a lot. So do mention your answers in the comment section below that Garud is the joint exercise between India and Dash. And now it's time to conclude our morning tales for today and thank you so much guys for watching our video and if you have learned anything from this video do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notifications. Thank you so much and all the best.